Good morning. We ask if you'd please stand and join in singing our gathering song, Be Not Afraid. waters of baptism, Charlie died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him in eternal glory. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery your servant, Charlie, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The just man, though he die early, shall be at rest. For the age that is honorable comes not with the passing of time, nor can it be measured in terms of years. Rather, understanding is the hoary crown for men, for men, and an unsullied life the attainment of old age. He who pleases God was loved, 
he who lived among sinners was transported, snatched away, lest wickedness pervert his mind or deceit beguile his soul. For the witchery of paltry things obscures what is right, and the whirl of desire transforms the innocent mind. Having become perfect, in a short while he reaches the fullness of a long career, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. Therefore he sped him out of the midst of darkness of wickedness, but the people saw and did not understand, nor did they take this into account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spirit, 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in the newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with her were weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have, come some, have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be such a st stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. I apologize, but I just need to make a point. Shoes are required in this church, so please put them on. Thank you. Please be seated. Sorry. 
It is with a heavy heart that I come before you today. Charles Edward Hottinger, Sr. has been taken away from us. We give thanks for Charlie's life. On behalf of the entire staff and members of St. Henry Parish, I offer you our consolation, a consolation that I hope will help you to know that Charlie's presence will continue among us. Charlie Jr., Tom and Diane, Kathy and John, and his seven grandchildren, and all the members of the extended Hottinger and Colopy families, I join you in your sorrows. There is now a void, a place once occupied by Charlie. When I think of death, I am reminded of a line from the Lenten prayers of the Dominican Rite, which says, media vita in morte sumus, in the midst of life, we are in death. These are sobering words, but true. In the midst of life, we are in death. Death surrounds us on every side, and death will come to us and take us all someday. But death touches us before it takes us. It touches us every time someone we love passes away. It touches us whenever we are struck with some serious sickness. In the midst of life, we are in death. But today's gospel, Jesus reverses that meaning. In the midst of life, we are in death, is no longer the predominant theme. For Christians, in the midst of death, we are touched by life. Into his dying, this dying world, life has come in the person of Jesus Christ. He is the resurrection and the life. There is so much hope in this passage for a sick and dying world like ours. Charlie was a faithful and devout Catholic, a member of St. Henry where he volunteered in many capacities and also volunteered with Mary Lou in her many pro-life causes. Yesterday, as people came to offer their condolences to the family, I am sure that many wonderful and precious memories of his life were shared. And I am convinced that everyone was my, reminded of the special and unique ways that Charlie touched their lives. It is because of these special memories that there is such sorrow in the death of a loved one. Our hearts cry out against death, for there is much that we might have wished to have said or done. And there is so much friendship and fellowship that we would have liked to enjoy. From talking to people in my own recollection, I can say that Charlie was truly a kind and gentle soul, never speaking ill of anyone. You could always know that when he was around, he would be smiling. He put his family and faith, his beloved Mary Lou and his children above all, and his example of how to live life was his greatest gift that he, give, he gave to his family and to us. He always wanted to do the right thing and pass that quality on to his children. His children stated that Charlie had the patience of Job. Well, if you know his children like I do, you would know he needed that. He taught them how to listen. I agree, he was a good listener. And that may be because Mary Lou could talk up a storm. But when he was able to get in a word edgewise, he would always add a little dry spice to the conversation. Charlie's sense of humor was puny at best. And fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, he passed that along. After retiring, one of his greatest loves was being a grandpa. 
He cherished spending time with his children and grandchildren as much as he could. He always tried to come to their special events or just love going and reading or playing with the grandchildren. He was loved as a father, grandfather, a brother, and as a friend. He and Mary Lou were proud to be from Minnesota. But here in Ohio, they surrounded themselves with many friends that they called family. Two examples that I can attest to is the first one was a, a special group which they hang around, hung around with, and they went out to eat, especially Charlie, with breakfast regularly on Sundays for many years with the husbands. There was another group that was, I was fortunate to be a part of, which met every Christmas Eve for many, many years for fun and fellowship. And I'm sure that there are numerous memories and stories to share from those groups, but it would take too long to describe those. Today we are faced with death as we see this urn up here. We do not have our father, grandfather, brother, or friend with us anymore, and it is painful. It was hard to watch his health deteriorate, knowing that there was nothing that anyone can do about it. Jesus, to assure Martha and Mary that he really cared, asked his father to let him raise Lazarus. Now their doubts were healed and vanished. As Jesus prayed to the father, he made this request, for the sake of all those who stand around me, so that they may believe that it was you who sent me. So we could say that it was for our sake, for your sake, that Jesus raised Lazarus, so that in our time of trouble and grief, we will not lose faith in Jesus. Jesus has not abandoned you in your time of grief. He is here and cries you with, it, with you. Turn to him and ask for his help. Ask him to heal you of the great hurt you have suffered. And may we find comfort, strength, and rest in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is my hope that the grief and pain of friends and family can be eased by the precious memories of our beloved Charlie. We share tears but our hope is to also share the joy of meeting him once again in the heavenly banquet. Until then, we say, Charlie, we love you and we miss you. Please stand. With faith in Christ Jesus, we offer our prayers for Charlie and for one another. Our response will be, hear our prayer. In baptism, Charlie received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now, lead him over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Our brother Charlie was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the poor and the suffering, the sick and the homeless, the unemployed and those who mourn, 
May they experience the tender and loving compassion of Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, our prayer. prayer. The family and friends of Charlie seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother Charlie. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your loving mercy. We ask that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Look with favor, O Lord, on your servant, Charlie, for whom we offer you the sacrifice of praise, humbly entreating that reconciled with you through these devoted offices, he may merit to rise again to life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for it is at your summons that we come to birth, by your will that we are governed, and at your command that we return on account of sin to that earth from which we came. And when you give the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son, shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Blessed is 
comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Charlie, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion song on Eagle's Wings.
Let us pray. Will you stand? As we receive these heavenly gifts, we give you thanks, O Lord, and humbly pray that the soul of your servant, Charlie, freed through your son's passion from the bonds of sin, may come happily into your presence through Christ our Lord. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully meet him again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Charlie and the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Charlie in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. Please join in singing our closing song, Let There Be Peace on Earth. 